Well, if someone commits an offense, a heavy Vaishnava offense, for which his devotional service is devastated, say, for this lifetime, and he has to take birth again, he can't remember the offense that he committed in the previous life. Is it that this offense simply wears off? There's a certain reaction time one has to undergo for committing offenses to great devotees? And Ultimately, if we please Krishna sufficiently and refrain from committing offenses, Krishna will forgive us from all previous offenses. If we want immediate relief, we have to beg forgiveness from that Vaishnava. If we do not do that, but we do engage in the process of devotional service, and we please Krishna, and he sees that our offensive mentality is not there anymore, then Krishna will gradually forgive us from these offenses. We can offend Vaishnavas, and if somehow or other that Vaishnava dies or something like that, then we cannot beg forgiveness. If we give up that offensive mentality and really engage in the service of Krishna and the Vaishnavas, Krishna will forgive us. He will see. He punishes us. Why? He doesn't punish us simply because of the offense. He punishes us because of the mentality that caused the offense. If he sees that through the execution of devotional service, the mentality to offend others has been gone, then he will forgive us of all previous offenses. And he will bring us back home, back to God. Well, in the case of, say, somebody like uh, Dravasa Muni, he was running from his offense, the form of the Sudhasan Chakra. He went all the way to Vaikuntha and he was begging forgiveness from Lord Narayan. Lord Narayan said, uh, you may have given up your offensive mentality, but you still you have to go take the dust of the feet of Maharaj Ambarish. The, the offense wouldn't cease until he went and took the dust of it. That is because he had the remembrance and the power to do so. If you do not have the remembrance and power to do so, Krishna is all merciful if you give up that mentality. The fact is, Ambarish was still waiting there fasting. If he didn't go back, Ambarish would have never eaten. So Dravasmuni knew exactly what his offense was. He knew why he was suffering. And he knew Ambarish was simply humbly waiting for him. So in this condition, if you give up your offensive mentality and you don't act according, then you haven't really given it up at all. Actions speak louder than words. If you really felt, I have offended this great soul, then that feeling is meaningless unless he goes and falls at his feet. But that is something different than what you are saying. If you are saying it's a future life and you don't know where the offense was and you don't know who you've offended, then if you just give up that mentality, Krishna will relieve you if you're not offending again anyone. But if the person you have offended is present, if you've given up your offensive mentality, it has no meaning unless you fall at his feet and beg forgiveness. Just like, for instance, but there's a story of one Gaudiya Vaishnav who actually committed an offense to his guru just before his guru left his body. And then his guru left his body. He couldn't fall at his feet and beg forgiveness. He was gone. So he was wondering, what should I do? So, of course, in his heart, he had to fall helplessly at his guru's feet and beg forgiveness. But his guru was not there. So he was given a particular tapasya by a great Vaishnav. And this tapasya he performed for about six months. And the whole time of his tapasya, he was chanting so many lakh of names a day. He was fasting. He was living in a very simple place of seclusion in the middle of a river. This just happened just recently. And through this process, the whole while, he was simply begging his Guru Maharaj or Krishna to forgive him. And he was forgiven. That means you're sincere. The Vasmuni's asking Krishna to forgive him without going back to Ambarish Maharaj has no sincerity unless he's willing to humble himself before that devotee. But if that devotee is no longer present or if you don't remember why you're in this particular situation, simply by giving up the offensive mentality and engaging in devotional service, Krishna will forgive you in due course of time. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.